I'm not interested in food. Right. Um, it's breakfast just fuel. Is generally is it just fuel. Yeah, tea? It's, it's tea and chewing gum. No, for breakfast, tea and chewing gum, that's the worst oh. ever. <laughs> okay. It's terrible. It's unfortunate. <laughs> but it is kind of like beans and toast, things like that, that for the kids. And do they not cook at all? No. 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 Because I guess you've got to really help them to do that in some ways. Oh, well, I was never taught to cook as a child. No. Um, and I've got four older sisters and they ah, did all the cooking. Ah, right, okay. So if you've not had to do it, this is the thing, Dean, if you've never yeah. had... So a wee bit like me, I've never really had to do it. Right. Um, because my husband's so good. And when I'm on my own, it is beans on toast. It's really bad. Yeah, but what actually really shocked me from, from chatting to Dawn this morning yeah. is she loves cooking programmes and, and loves food. So that's, that's <laughs> kind of... <laughs> It, you like to watch. It kind of boggled my mind a little bit, you right. know, that someone could be into their food that much and then not eat at all during the day. You know, yeah. a, a diet of chewing gum and tea is, is not great by any no. stretch of the imagination. No, Lucy um, Mecklenburg is behind the scenes with her fingers on yeah, her ears, shocking backs and forwards. But do you know what? It, it's, it's, it's always been a little bit different for me as well. It, only the last few years I decided to sort of look at the sort of things that I was eating as well. So, you know, I used to skip breakfast and stuff like that. And, and for me, it's about. Um, just trying to teach you new eating habits and giving right. you the confidence to get back in the kitchen. And I'm I think that's sure. it. That's the key, confidence. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure as soon as yeah. Dawn starts to cook, and that will inspire her to, to cook further, inspire her kids to cook, because it's a vicious circle. If your kids aren't going to cook, if you're not going to cook, then their kids aren't going to cook. I know. You know, so we need to kind of Definitely. attempt to sort this out sure. now before yeah. it gets any further. No, that's true. And getting them interested will be great as well, exactly. I think, actually. Get them, get them in the kitchen helping. Absolutely. Because my Rosie can cook. She's really good. She really is good. She's far, far better than I am. So, right, you feel that this is going to happen. You're ready for it, aren't you? Absolutely. This, this sad news, it, it's just, it was just such a shock to everybody. It was a real shock. Yeah. I think it's really, I think it's just sinking in for people now by the look of it. And mm. I was so glad that everyone got sent home yesterday.